hello everyone hope you all are taking good care of your health through this channel we will be covering computer syllabus for all the classes of cbsc board icsc board and state board uh, starting with the first chapter of class 6th which is computer language what all we are going to cover in this chapter is program programming language machine language assembly language high level language and fourth generation languages a program program is a set of instruction that tells the computer what to do like for any kind of work we give instruction to each other and get our work done in the same way to get our work done from computer we need to give set of instruction okay and that set of instruction has to be written in specific computer language so programming the process of writing specific instructions in a computer language is called programming when we are using certain languages to write our instruction that is called programming each programming language has its own specific rules like we have rules in english we have grammar and uh, other sets of rule to be followed when we are using the english language in the same way we will be having some rules for each languages okay next is computer language computer language is categorized into the four categories the first one is machine language second one is assembly language third is high level language and last is fourth generation language machine language which computer understands gradually when we came uh, up with the development the complexity of the program increased and ease of using uh, the computer also increased this language is very very close to machine means hardware of the uh, computer understand this language very very easily and this fourth generation language that human being understands very easily okay so we will be covering this one by one the first one is machine level language which was used in first generation of computers machine level language so it is the only language that a computer understands means computer understands 0 and 1 so it is called binary language 0 means off and 1 means on state like you switch on the fan or switch off the fan so there is no in between likewise everything which computer understands whether it's your video or pictures everything is stored in 0 and 1 that is binary language okay so this is called low level language so the first level of the computer machine is hardware so which is very close to the hardware is called low level language okay talking about the advantages of this language very high speed this is very very close to the hardware so its speed is very very high and low memory utilization the disadvantages is it is tough to learn why it is tough to learn because everything has to be Uh, given given in zero and one, which is very difficult for a human being to understand, learn and practice. It is time-consuming process. Because of course, when it is difficult, it will consume a lot of time uh, in order to understand and practice it, practice it. Difficult to write and debug program written in machine language. If the program is written in zero and one form, it is very difficult to find the error and then debug those error. So it and it is. extremely machine dependent why it is extremely machine dependent because um the language which computer understand is 0 and 1 so it is it is designed for a particular machine it can only run and only run on that particular machine it cannot be used for other so we have to design a uh, different different uh, programs for different kind of machine so it is machine dependent language this is how a machine language program looks like zero and one everything is written in the zero and one form the meaning of this program is written in front of this this is uh, we are putting this value 2h in register a and 4h in register b and then we are adding these two values and storing the result in register a so is it looking very easy for you to learn what is it what all these zero and ones are written you it is very difficult for you to understand learn and you know write the programs 
this is how machine level languages were used in these kind of huge machine which was looking like uh, some uh, factory a big factory these used to be our computers in first generation the next topic is assembly language this assembly language was used in second generation this language uses mnemonic code or symbols in place of 0 and 1 for example for add if we want to add something or we are using this operator the code in binary language will be 00010 whereas in assembly language we can directly use add because assembly language uses symbolic codes so it is easy for human being to learn add instead of writing 0010 because you may commit mistake while writing this code 0010 so it is better to give some uh, codes which is easy for human being to understand and uh, keep it in mind as it is difficult to remember code in 0 and 1 which is binary code in comparison to assembly language which uses symbolic codes since the computer understands only binary language so the program written in assembly language needs to be converted into binary language using assembly language assemblers so assemblers are the software which will convert assembly language program into machine language okay so we we know that computer understands 0 and 1 which is binary language but we are writing the instruction in the assembly language so there should be one translator in between which will convert the assembly language program into the machine language so that machine understands and why we are using assembly language because it is easy for human being to use it okay so assembler is a program it is also a set of instruction program is a set of instruction it is a pro assembler is a program developed to convert assembly language program into machine language so the we have two more terms here source program and object codes these are not difficult terms the program that you are writing in assembly language or in any language that is called source program okay and after the after converting that language into machine we called it object code the assembly language program that is converted into machine language by assembler is called object code this is how uh, assembly language program looks move the instruction 2h to register a move instruction 4h to register b and add add the value of a into register b and store the result into b which is easy for human being to understand and see how small the program is no the machines were improved they are looking far better than the first generation computer now now moving on to the third high level language which were used in third generation high level language having two main features we are we are gradually improving uh, the hardware as well as the software of the computers that's how we had generations so now we have reached to the high level language the third generation okay there there were two main features it was simple and user friendly because human being has to use it if the technology will be easy for everyone to use then it will be used by more so uh, the focus was keeping uh, the interface and uh, the programming and the usage of machines to be simple so that it can be used easily it will be easy for human being to uh, use the machine and develop it it was machine independent what does it mean machine independent means if you are writing the program for one machine it can run on any other machine it is not dependent upon the hardware of the machine okay high level language is quite similar to english language basic c c++ java etc these are some examples of high level language a large number of people started writing computer programs using these language that is why it is called high level language hope you are understanding now again we are writing the program into high level language but what computer understands it understands the binary language which is the language that computer understand 0 and 1 so again we need to convert the high level language into the 
machine language so what we are using we are using the translator programs high level language program need, needs to be converted or translated into machine language by using translator program so we have two types of translators one is interpreter and the second is compiler okay so uh, for converting assembly language we had assembler and for con converting high level languages we are having interpreter and compiler so what is interpreter interpreter the first one is was interpreter an interpreter is tra interpreter translates line by line executes the instruction and then repeat the procedure for the remaining instructions so a program of a 10 instruction then how interpre interpreter will work it an interpreter translate line by line means it will pick up the first line translate it if any error is there it will report it you will debug it and then you will execute the first line and then you move to the next that's that is how it works it will take one by one all the lines okay and it takes the high level language interprets it and gives the object code the next is compiler compiler is a translator program used to convert high level language program into machine language the purpose is the same but working criteria of interpreter and translator is different compiler translate the whole program at once it will take the entire program and convert it into object code it generates the object code for the program along with the list of errors if a uh, compiler has found errors in the program it will report all the errors you will debug it and then you will uh, execute it again so execution of program is very fast because the entire program is translated in one go so that's how they are faster the last is fourth generation languages the fourth generation languages are closer to human human languages than any other high level language the main features of the high level language is highly user friendly and independent of any operating system means it is not also dependent upon the software also if it is written for windows operating system it can be it can work for linux or unix or any other uh, operating system very high speed of execution and then designed to reduce overall time it take to develop software and cost of the development so the purpose of development is always the saving time ease of use so that's how we have moved from 01 to the fourth generation languages this is how our high level language programs looks like it is a program written in c++ we are taking two numbers num1 and num2 we are taking the two inputs and then we are producing the sum of these two numbers and this is how your computer looks like you might have seen these kind of computer everywhere you go whether you are going to malls railway stations even your computer labs everywhere you see these kind of computers so we have reached to the end of the chapter with some gk questions so the first question is the first programmer who was the first programmer lady ada levelace was the first program she was a mathematician and um, she was the daughter of a famous english poet lord brown now the syntax syntax uh, this is very important term you will hear it uh, quite often syntax refers to the spelling and grammar of a programming language there are many many computer languages which all are having some set of rules to be followed when you are using it so the rules that you will be following or the grammar that you will be following is called syntax the software term you might have heard it many many times the term software was first used by john w turkey in 1957 you must be very fond of computer games so which was the first computer interactive game interactive means you are giving in some instruction computer is responding then you are playing so it is an interaction between you and machine so space war was the first interactive computer game beta release 
beta release refers to a product or a technology it refers to a product or a technology which is still in development but is released only for testing and evaluation purpose so from before the final release of the product or the software uh, the beta version is released which undergoes usage by the users if any uh, progress or improvement uh, is needed or uh, if a user feels any difficulty in using it so some improvements may uh, are made and then it is then the final product is released in the market so uh, this is the uh, product which is released before the final uh, stage or the final product okay the next is practice session now let's do some of the fill ups and see how much we have understood dash a dash is a set of instruction which tells the computer what to do so the answer is program the development of computer language can be classified into four categories dash language consists of binary language so binary is always machine language dash high level language uses simple english words and mathematic operators so high level language in binary language zero means off and one means on state whether it is true or false machine language is the only language that computer understands of course it is true assembly language regarded as the first generation language no it was used in second generation first generation was machine language so it is false each programming language has its own specific rules very true machine language used mnemonics false because machine language is zero and one assembly language is the is the language that uses the mnemonic codes compiler converts high level language into machine language line by line false because compiler compiles the program in one go but it is the interpreter which converts the program line by line into machine language high level language program has to be converted into machine language by translator programs true programming is the process of writing specific instruction in a computer language this is also true so now we have uh, two application based question you can read it and uh, you can answer i hope you have liked the video and if you have any query or doubt you can uh, contact me or uh, write in comment section thank you so much